guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm going to show you how to play Contine de Notre Dame from the movie Amélie Poulain. Uh, this is a very well known piano piece, uh, and there are some other pieces in that movie as well uh, that you can play on piano. But that is one of my favorites actually. Today I'm going to show you how to play the left hand, which is the supportive part of the piano, to your right hand. For the left hand, it's basically the same thing all the way through the whole song. That does not mean it is easy, it is one of the hardest parts of the song, I would say. And one of the hard parts is because it's the same thing the whole way through. Uh, in the beginning, when you try this, you might cramp up after a couple of times trying this because your hand is not used to being in that position the whole time. So I would say just practice but take a rest sometimes so that your hand can relax for a moment before you try it again. So today I'm gonna to show you the left hand. In the next tutorial I might show you the right hand. That will take a bit longer because the right hand does the melody of the song, of the, of the music track, and there are more different sections in that. That's it for the left hand. Today I'm not going to include how to use the pedal. I will do that in a later on video for this song. Okay, I'm going to split this up and you're gonna notice in a moment why. First we're gonna do what the thumb and index finger are doing because the tempo of that is different from the other fingers lower here. We're starting at the E4 with our thumb and with our index finger we're starting at the B3. And the tempo that we're gonna take is this one. four times. Then we're gonna move our thumb one lower to the D4. Then we're going to repeat this last section. And now I'm gonna move my index finger to the A3 and do the same thing. Okay, so again let's start with the E and the B. And for my thumb and index finger, that's the only thing I do throughout the whole song. Now, the difficult part is combining this with what my other fingers will do here. I'm going to place my pinky finger on the E3 and my ring finger on the G3. Okay, to start off with. And I'm going to take half the tempo that I did from my index and thumb. Right, remember this was the pace. And here I'm going to go half tempo. Okay, so E, G, E, G, like that. Then I'm going to move my pinky finger to the D3. And I'm going to still play the G3, but with my middle finger. Okay, so like this. Now, instead of the G3, I'm gonna play the F sharp 3, but with my ring finger, all right? So, like this. And now play the exact same thing, but I'm gonna play the F sharp with my middle finger. Now, you might wonder, why do I switch positions with these fingers if I play the same note? That is because it's a more comfortable position combining with the other fingers, with my index and thumb right there. So, those four different positions together will sound like this. Okay? So, try to practice those two separately. And then the other fingers. Yeah. And then let's try that slow 
together. That will take some time. It is not that easy. Let's try it slowly. It will start like this. Okay, that's the first one. Then go over to the next one. Go over to the third. And go over to the fourth one. So I would advise to try all these chords very slowly, get the hang of it, getting used to that so that it's really in your fingers that you feel it, that you don't have to really think about it anymore. And the better you get at this, the faster you will be able to play this. And eventually we will get to a tempo that sounds something like this. And that's the same thing the whole song through. So, guys, that is the left hand for this song. Next week I'm gonna show you how to play the right hand for this song. But perhaps I will do that in sections, except if you want me to show it in one video. And in the video after I might show you how to combine both hands together. Alright? Guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So, thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. Hi guys, you're here again. Welcome to Bybee Plays Music. Today I'm gonna show you how we can do, but take a rest sometimes so that you can, so that your hand can relax for a moment before you, be, because that is the sun. Um, and the way I'm gonna to do, the way I'm gonna do it is we're going to split it up in thumb and uh, then with our index finger we're going to. Then with our index finger, we're starting at the B. Then, yeah, so one after another. So, the one after the, right? That's the, and that, right? Those two, those two together, let's, and la, and the faster. And eventually, we'll,